Hello everybody, Mr. Stixman here, and welcome back to Marble World. This marble run is an absolute beast. It's made out of heavy metal, and even the person who created it said it melts their computer. So today, we're going to put my machine to the test and see if it can run this thing. And then if it works, we're going to do a race on it. This marble run has been made by one of the amazing creators over on the Steam Workshop, and I'll leave a link in the description below in case you want to check it out for yourselves. I mean, first of all, look at the overall size of this marble run. It is absolutely enormous. And I think before we do any racing on it later on in the video, we should probably just give it a really good test first and spawn in loads of marbles, as I normally like to do in these videos. So here we go on the start line then, and we'll just, how many have we got right now? 400, 500... Oh, look here, yeah. We've got a traffic jam already. Look how close that marble is right to the edge of the track. I can't believe it's still balancing on that. We'll just go down here. So there's a loop the loop, a bit of a traffic jam. Some of the marbles will not get past, maybe. They're, they are still moving a bit, look. But most of them, well, that green one's moving. Okay. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Yeah, they've made it, they've made it. I'm sure they'll move eventually. Through a checkpoint here, which will be for the racing later, through a small tube. And then down the corner into another swirl pit here, a small one. But speaking of swirl pits, have a look down there, right? Because there is the biggest swirl pit I've ever seen in my life. And uh, it's essentially a big funnel. But if we zoom out here, I'll click on it as well. Actually, it seems to be two swirl pits. But there's one down there. And then there's a big one here. Look at this one. It is huge. I mean, the marble run is huge in itself. But uh, if we just keep zooming out, you can see the green line, which is sort of highlighting the outer edge of that swirl pit. And essentially, of course, it just, if any of the marbles fall off the track, it's going to guide them back into the centre. And they can actually go up this tube here and make their way back up to the start again, I believe. Here's one that's just come through, look. And I'm just wondering, if you fall off on the first corner in a race and then go up this tube, are you just going to win instantly? Because you'll get round way quicker than everyone else, wouldn't you? That'll be interesting to see later on if you can win by falling off on the first corner of the race. That'll be hilarious. Anyway, let's carry on here, see what we've got going on next. Oh, that's interesting. Look at this. So we've actually got some gravity pads. And if you're on the edge of the escalator, you get to fly into the swell pit above. If not, you go into the centre here. I see. So they're all going the same direction eventually. But actually, the, the, if you're on the edge, you just take a shortcut and go through. That's very clever. I like that. Anyway, when they've done that section, they go through the pipe here, around some bends, and up a spiral. Um, and then, okay, another checkpoint here. And they filter down onto this track, which has some holes in it. There we go. So some of them are falling through the holes and just going down below. But they all end up in the same area anyway. This here is a custom loop-the-loop, -loop, actually. That's very interesting quite like how that's made and then a pair of enormous escalators which take them right up to the top here so the next section after this is that a big bit over there that we saw at the beginning of the video that could be a marble run on its own couldn't it let alone everything else we've got here here are the first marbles coming off the escalators down the pipe here i'm pleased to see that my pc can run this marble run very well at the moment i've got no issues at all we could definitely spawn in more marbles if we want to it does make some very nice patterns to watch though, doesn't it actually? Look at these things here. That's really cool. I could watch that for ages actually. <laughs> Here's the top of the escalators then. So what happens next? Booster pad and a gravity pad. Okay. They're going up. Up some curly bits over there. Try and follow them around if we can. Here's a, a loop the loop. Here's some more going through the loop right now. There we are. That's working really nicely. Underneath the swell pit here, there's actually a splitter. And uh, the marbles can go in four different directions, but they all end up going to a large set of escalators at the uh, the end of their little track. As you can see, this one's quite full already. In fact, they're all quite full now. Then when they get to the top, we're going to see what happens next, but it's going to be up here. So we... <laughs> Look at this thing. I wonder how long this took to make. It's absolutely incredible. These marbles are now all on their way down into the centre of this bit here, right? So actually, let's see what happens when they get through, because I'm not sure yet. Okay, so they go right into the swirl pit down there. Oh, right, and then onto a different section of track. Okay, so they can roll down here. I mean, it just shows how big this track is when you've got like 540 marbles spawned in, and you can only see a few of them on this track at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's how big this thing is. They're still queuing up the escalators down here. Now, I think we're actually near the end of the track now. So we've just got to go along here 
around the corner and back to the start line again there we are so we're almost there actually and check this out guys our friends the balancing marble is still there on the side of the track it, it hasn't moved at all and i think it's going to be there forever now i can't believe that is just still there <laughs> unbelievable balancing control and we just lost the marble into the sky over there, look. Anyway, these stairs are now loading up with marbles. And some of them have already completed that section. So they're going round here. They're joining on together onto the middle track. And then a triple escalator going up here. Which will surely go back round to the start again very soon. There's a big ramp down there, look. Onto another set of escalators. Now these marbles are actually first out of all of them. So they're going through the final sections now. So that's an interesting piece here. Look, they all split up. But they all join back on again into the swirl pit and then down off the escalator back to the finish line. And here they come across the finish line. So that's our first marble. Some of them got here before, but they kind of fell off the track. Anyway, I've just been a bit silly and spawned in way too many marbles. But I think now we've given this track a good test. Let's go and do some racing around it. And here is our grid for today. We have 107 marbles named after my own viewers. If anyone else would like me to name a marble after you, let me know in the comments section down below and I'll do that for you. Very sadly, every single place on the grid is full except this one right here. We didn't have enough people to fill that one. Anyway, the race is starting in just a moment. We've got the red lights going up here. Four, five, and green. They're off. Okay, so <laughs> this is going to take a very long time to get round. Um, but it'd be really interesting to see. Now, somebody's fallen off there already. Orange man. Oh, no. Orange man's gone off into space. Um, if anybody does fall off and end up down there... Wait a minute, Orange Man's down here. You've come back. Orange Man is back on the grid. Now, you might actually end up winning because... Oh, hang on a minute. Thomas the Train is up here as well. I'm really interested to see if Thomas the Train is going to win the race already just by going through the shortcut. And no, you haven't. So you do actually have to go through the checkpoints on the way, which does make sense. But I had to check that because I wasn't sure. Anyway, here's the next section. Over here, Zyphon is, is in first place or was with... Uh, no way. Mr. Sticksman is there. Guys, that's the best I've ever done in a race so far. But uh, rest assured, I'll probably be overtaken very shortly. But we have Mick in first place. Now, I don't know how to say your name. I'm very sorry. I I'm not quite sure how to read your name. But if I just say Mick, is that okay? Is that is that good enough? I hope so. <laughs> I do apologise. Feel free to let me know in the comments um, how to say your name. We have Zyphon in first place now. Mr. Sticksman in second. And Brendan in third. Sam T in fourth. And Twiddy in fifth place. I can't believe that I'm actually doing this well. I've never done this well in a race before. Okay, here's Twisted Vines just joining along. We've got Almy here as well. And Annette. Come on, guys. Somebody has to overtake me, surely. I'm not going to win this race, am I? <laughs> it doesn't count. If I win, it doesn't count, okay? Second place is really going to be first. I'll go last. But uh, this is going to be interesting. You've all got to catch me now. Everyone's got to try and beat me in the race. Ben is just joining onto the escalators as well. And Boris down there. A few more in the loop here. And, oh, there we go. I think almost everybody is down. As Lucas is back here as well. Lucas could catch up. Orange Man is down here. Who's going to actually catch and overtake me then? <laughs> That's going to be interesting, isn't it? Uh, oh, I've got a good head start anyway. Come on, everybody. Right, through the tube, up the uh, through the spinners here. At the moment, Christopher and Almy are just behind in second and third, even though it doesn't say that on the leaderboard. Uh, the leaderboard only updates when you go through the checkpoints. That's why it's not quite accurate, but uh, it's close enough. Anyway, here are the stairs now. So look, I've got three people right behind. I could get overtaken here because... Oh no, I've bounced off the stairs. Oh no, somebody's going to overtake... Oh no, Al Almy is about to overtake me. Oh no. <laughs> Keishi has now joined in as well. So you're right up at the front. We've got some people just rounding up the back of the pack as well. But because of these stairs, you could actually catch up um, quite well on here. So you might be able to take advantage of that. And I've just seen Boris go up the centre of the run. <laughs> right back to the start again. Oh no. There you are. Oh, there's, there's actually a lot of you. Tommy Chats has just gone to the start as well with Boris there. Jacob's down there somewhere as well. We've got Robo June, who is a, a good marble run builder, actually. Robo June. I think we've tested one of your marble runs before in the past. I believe that was actually the city with the UFOs. That was a really good marble run. Anyway, look how many names we've got here. Mr. Sticksman on the leaderboard is still in first place. Come on, guys. Who's going to overtake me? Somebody's got to do it, look. Somebody has to win. Now, this section could be really slow, as we saw earlier. So that means that I might get overtaken here. If I slow down a lot and somebody else gets a lot of momentum, there's Keishi, Dylan, and Excalibur. 
going round as well, just off the escalator. I mean, it's so busy. It's hard to keep track of what's going on, isn't it? But uh, the race has been going for 4 minutes, 13 seconds at the moment. I reckon we're about halfway at this point, maybe a bit over halfway. There's Boris, just gone down into the big swell pit here, but you'll end up back at the start again eventually. And I'm already onto the escalators. I can't believe this. Oh, look at that. I'm almost overtaken now. Mick, AS Eclipse and Keishi are right behind in joint second as of, well, on this side of the escalators too. We've also got some more over here. We have Dylan and Almi over there. Oh no, I've, I've gone the wrong way, guys. I've gone the wrong way. Oh, AS Eclipse has bounced off as well. Oh no, no, Mick's, take, Mick, Mick's overtaken me. Oh, I'm in second. <laughs> Keishi's in third. Dylan fourth and AS Eclipse is also in fourth joint, really, with Dylan there. I'm no longer first in the race i'm actually quite relieved about that because i don't want to win myself i want you guys to win so <laughs> i'm really glad about that but here we go we're almost at the end to be honest uh, we're just going around the final few bends here a couple of escalators and then it's done there goes mick around the corner good momentum down there down the ramp onto these escalators now you jumped really far across those better than me let's see if people oh look wait a minute as eclipse has jumped ahead of me as well oh no guys <laughs> <laughs> everyone's going to overtake me now aren't they Vanessa is just behind and Abiola as well King Alex the Fox as well just up there and also Mr. Me Seeks and Christopher Rocky there as well Zachary and the subscribe marble I can't believe it I can't believe my marbles are doing quite well today is anybody going to be able to challenge Mick for first place I mean I reckon AS Eclipse is normally quite fast in these races so uh, we'll have to see how this goes but uh Dylan could also win. Keishi could win up there. Here's the next checkpoint. So it'd be quite interesting to see the positions when they go through this. And there's Mick just coming across that one right now. Maintaining first place. And uh, AS Eclipse in second. Uh, Keishi in third. I'm just losing positions the whole time. I'm in, I'm in fifth now. We have Dylan in fourth as well. So oh, already going down here. Now this is the final escalator. So most likely these are the winning positions as we see them on here. Jurassic Riley has gone onto the escalator as well. We've got Jason down there. My World Explained, Matthew, Lindsay Bell. And we've just had a finisher, guys. The confetti has flown into the air. Mick has won the race with the fastest lap. Keishi in second, AS Eclipse in third, me in fourth. Unbelievable, I can't believe that. Dylan in fifth. Abiola in 6th, Vanessa in 7th, King in 8th, then Christopher in 9th, and Mr. Me Seeks in 10th. What we'll do is we'll wait for as many people to finish the race as we can, and, uh, and then we'll have a look at the overall leaderboard at the end, and I'll display the position of every marble that we've had in the race today. And there we go, the race has ended, guys. It ended on its own, we didn't have to finish it ourselves. The fastest time by Mick, 6 minutes 53 seconds. Very, very impressive for this enormous track. And then we have Keishi and AS Eclipse closely behind. But now what I'm going to do over here is just scroll down the list fairly slowly, so hopefully you can catch all your names and, uh, and the times as well. It's a shame that we can't do this during the race, but I believe it is a performance issue. But that's why it's sort of limited to the top 20. But as long as we can see it afterwards, I suppose that's, you know, that's relatively okay, isn't it? We can, we can put up with that for now, guys. But there we are. That's the entire grid. And wait a minute. Everybody finished the race. Every single marble. That's the first race I've ever done um, on video or out of video where everybody has actually finished. That's really, really good. And don't forget, guys, if you want to check out this marble run for yourselves, I have left a link in the description below. If you want me to name a marble after you in a future video, let me know in the comments section down below and I'll do that for you. I do actually reset the names back to zero for each video. So even if you've appeared in this one, you have to sort of ask me again to appear in the next one as well. I am working on a really big project, which is coming up in the video after this. Hopefully that should be out reasonably soon as well. So stay tuned for that if you're interested and you want to see me do some building. That project is going really well, actually. I'm very happy with it and I can't wait to show you guys what I've been doing. But there's a whole lot more stuff coming in the near future on top of that as well. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you have, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button as well. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Take care and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.